Well, Tesla's been selling cars at some volume for almost a decade now. They're about to introduce their next model, the Model Y, and they've sold so many cars, they're actually starting to phase out of the federal tax credit. They're doing something right. Let's find out what it is. Top five reasons to buy a Tesla. Her new research by Alliance Bernstein, which asked a lot of Tesla owners over the last couple of years, what do you like about owning one? We're going to move away from specs and features and get to the experience. Here we go. Number five is the supercharger network. 63% of current Tesla owners say that's a big factor for why they have not considered buying some luxury European car with a big battery. And that percentage is up dramatically from 56% in July of 2017. Now I think you can see why Porsche is spending so much time not just engineering their coming take on, but also a high speed, fast charging network for it. Number four, getting the promised or advertised range. 63% of Tesla owners said they feel they are, so a whole bunch of them feel they aren't. However, it's possibly nitpicking. A lot of owners of every kind of car love to nitpick the EPA range or stated MPG if their car's not quite getting it, even if it's close. Now, it's a bigger deal in an EV, because if you're not getting your range, you put a real crimp on your travel style. That said, 73% of Tesla owners told Alliance Bernstein they do not suffer from range anxiety. Number three is excellent mobile service. This is where Tesla comes to you to fix your car. You don't have to go to them. 70% of Tesla owners said it just goes great. They had an excellent experience. And that's up from 42% saying that a year and a half ago. So this is trending well. And that's a good thing because what's trending not well are people's opinions of Tesla service when you take your car to them. That's down to 42% saying they had a great experience. That is not good. And Alliance Bernstein also found that a lot of Tesla service experiences are impinged upon by a shortage of some spare parts. Number two is confidence in autopilot out on the highway. 72% of owners say they have that. That's down though from 80% a year and a half ago. So as autopilot's been getting more advanced, Customers' confidence has been getting less so. What's going on? Headlines, of course. Every time there's a report of a big accident or a fatality where autopilot was engaged, it doesn't do Tesla's autopilot reputation any good. There's a simple fix for this. Stop calling it autopilot. Call it copilot. That's more like what it is. The number one reason Tesla owners say they love being Tesla owners is because it's fun. From being electric and never using gas, the great electric performance, autopilot's various tricks, mobile service that comes to you, and all that cool cabin tech, it's a complete reset on the experience of owning a car up until now. There are a lot of bells and whistles that keep the Tesla owner happy, and the constant updates of the software keep pushing that agenda. And this tends to do a lot to overshine the other issues, like waiting till your hair goes gray for your Model 3 to arrive, or having some of those hiccups with service we saw earlier in the list. Tesla has reinvented the idea of owning a car, mostly in good ways. <laughs>